video. Hey there, I'm James Stoffo from Radioactive Designs here at Infocom 2019. And we're here to talk about our Hallmark product that's the UV1G wireless intercom system. And the reason we came out with it is because my partners and I all do large events. I've worked on 16 Super Bowls as a wireless tech, um, Latin Grammys, Grammys, Latin billboards, billboards, country music awards. My partner, um, is president of Mask Sound, who works on Broadway. They have about a thousand wireless mics uh, in a three block radius. When you put that much RF into one area, uh, things can really go awry uh, when you get congested. And the thing that makes the Radioactive Designs product unique is that our goal was to be spectrally efficient and extremely reliable. So since we came out with the product in 2014, it's been used as a primary comp system on every Super Bowl, every Rose Bowl, um, lots of uh, ESPN award shows. We have, um, again, the CMTs, the CMA awards, Latin Grammys, Grammys, all of those shows. Uh, and, and our goal, again, was spectral efficiency. On an event like the Super Bowl, there are 3,000 wireless microphones and intercoms on the field, almost impossible to coordinate. They're all in the UHF spectrum, and they're all FM or digital. What my partners and I did was we designed this system to be VHF pack transmitters, which is completely empty. Right now, with the midst of a UHF auction and the television repack across the U.S. going on at the moment, UHF is going to be completely filled up within the next year. VHF, on the other hand, is going to remain relatively empty. All of the packs transmitted VHF. We also use amplitude modulation instead of frequency modulation because it's much more spectrally efficient. To give you an example of how spectrally efficient, there's one building in New York City, it's at NBC Studios at 30 Rock. They have over 200 belt packs in one building. The supporting hardware could be used for in-ear monitors, IFBs, or comms. And that'll take any IFB, in-ear, or comm and kick it up to as much as a quarter watt per zone. So if you have one lead artist and then a band that's not too far, the band could be on a lower power setting while the main artist is at a quarter watt to cover running out into the audience. The belt packs are pretty standard. They have a switchable headset connector, so if you bring your own headset and it's a five pin, you just take out these two screws, pop that out, stick in a five pin connector. And looking forward for the next 10 or 15 years at any potential FCC auctions, we're gonna be safe because nobody's interested in VHF. The reason why the FCC has been auctioning off UHF spectrum is because of these, all the smartphones out there they're selling off the spectrum for T-Mobile and other consumer devices and the antennas have to be very small to fit in this phone. The VHF wave is obviously way too big for any consumer electronics and that's why we went down to VHF. And there you have it. And so, oh yes, and if you'd like a little more information, go to our website at radioactiverf.com.